What is going on, YouTube? Reverse John Stanek from Johnny Radio here, bringing you another Top 5 on this beautiful Top 5 Friday, and I'm so excited to be talking to you about one of the greatest years in music history, 1979, and my personal favorite Top 5 songs of that year. This was a good one, folks, so let's get right to it. At number 5... Too Much Heaven by the Bee Gees. Gotta love the Bee Gees, man, off of their album Spirits Having Flown, which had so many great songs to choose from, to be honest with you. But this one, I'm a sucker for the ballads, man, uh, in general and definitely with the Bee Gees. And uh, this one is just up there with some of their best, like How Deep Is Your Love. I mean, the melody, the the tender uh, ahs by the, the Bee Gees, the brothers. I mean, they just... No one does it like these guys and uh, just gets you in that loving kind of mood. And uh, yeah, man, one of the best of that year. So that's my number five. Now at number four. The Bed's Too Big Without You by The Police from their album Regatta de Blanc. Uh, I think I pronounced that correctly, but uh, so many great songs on this record as well. But this one to me is the standout, even though it's more of a B-side. This one, uh, I just love it. I, I revisit it all the time. It's got this great reggae vibe. Of course, The Police and Regatta de Blanc, I believe means white reggae, basically. And and uh, that's totally what this is. It's the police really what I think doing what they did best, which was kind of stealing from Bob Marley and making it kind of their own. And uh, this does that so well. One of my favorites. So that is at my number four. Now at number three. <laughs> Working Day and Night by Michael Jackson off of Off the Wall, my favorite record by MJ. And this uh, song is just off the charts. The first time I heard it, I was just like, what? And a lot of it has to do with the great production by Quincy Jones. I mean, just a master. And the horn section, just taking it up a notch, uh, makes you want to just groove and put your teeth out. Mm, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. And really, the entire side A of that record makes you want to do that. But this one to me is just like, uh, you know, the best of that album on steroids, if that makes sense. Uh, it is just so fun. And that is at my number three. Now at number two. London Calling by The Clash, the title track off of their just double album masterpiece of the same name. Just an amazing opening track. Just as soon as those guitar riffs hit, you're like, oh man, I'm into for something good here. And it just keeps getting better and better. Come on, London Calling. And uh, man, it, just when it gets to the end and he's doing those howling sounds, it is just so fun. And that intro produces just really one of the best albums of that decade, to be honest. And that's just at my number two. So now at number one, Comfortably Numb by Pink Floyd off of the wall. Another classic double album from 1979. And man, I mean, there were so many songs I could have chosen off of this album. Uh, honestly, I could have made my whole top five songs off of this record, like Hey You and Another Brick in the Wall Part Two and uh, Young Lust. I mean, the list goes on and on, but Comfortably Numb is just one of those songs that's just like, above and beyond man it is incredible the guitar solo by david gilmore one of the best of all time uh just the melody when the chorus comes in you know uh, roger waters sings on the verses but gilmore comes in on the chorus with those strings and it's just so beautiful and glorious and 
when you saw them uh, reunite briefly at uh, Live Aid in the 2000s, uh, what an amazing performance of this song. I mean, just any performance of Comfortably Numb is uh, just unreal. One of the best rock songs of all time. So that is my top five, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you think. What is your top five? If you're so bold, leave me a top 10. I know some of you guys go as far as to leave me a top 20, and I love it, and I thank you for doing that. So if you want to do it, nothing is stopping you. And um, guys, we got top fives every Friday, album reviews. We're doing, we're counting down the Johnny Radio Top 100 as we speak that were voted by you guys. So make sure you subscribe and check out all the great content. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, Viva La Vinyl. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and be sure to ring the bell for notifications so you can always see great quality content like you're seeing on the screen right now. Thank you so much for supporting Johnny Radio, and I'll see you soon.